Hey, Murray Smith here with Remington Solar. Hey, I get a lot of calls um, on people wanting to know what's the best fan, which fan do they need. And I thought I would just do a quick video, kind of encapsulates a lot of our sales support calls. So I'm going to try to help you out here. These are our three models, 20, 25, and 30 watt models. We found that anything less than 20 watts doesn't really pull any air, doesn't really move any air out of your attic. So a lot of the 10 and 12 watt fans that you might see at Lowe's, Home Depot, in the stores, they just don't pull a lot of air out and so we don't manufacture them. Um, and then on the flip side, 30 watt fan is a great fan. Um, it'll pull most of the air out of the average midsize house up to 20, 2,500 square feet. I'm going to try to go through here how to choose the right fan for what you need. The 20 watt fan has an encased panel. It does not tilt. Our 25 and 30 watt, both of these fans do tilt. It doesn't really show it very well here, but the dimensions on the housing are exactly the same on all of these. The only difference is these are a little bit taller because it has a the tilt frame right here and this is what you would need if you had to mount your fan on the back of your house which everyone does of course you don't want to put it on the front on the back of your house and the back of your house is tilted to the north or to the east ideally you want to tilt your fan to the south or west if you have to put it on north or east facing side just tilt the fan up so it's flat to the earth that's actually how I run at my house you want about four square feet of soffit ventilation per fan and there's nothing wrong with putting two fans up and you know I get asked this a lot what happens if they overpower you can actually put a couple of fans don't worry about overpowering as long as you have good soffit ventilation if you're worried about the you know pulling out air-conditioned air out of your insulated attic on the floor just make sure you have good soffit ventilations around and you'll be fine it's not like there's a wind or anything like that up in your attic with these fans it just basically will move a lot of hot air out faster and really you know the price difference is negligible going with a, a bigger fan so if you only have 1800 square feet you know if, if you've got good soffit ventilation I'd recommend go ahead and go with the 25 or the 30 and really like I said the price difference especially after your federal tax rebate and more so in a lot of different cities so you need to look that up on the web uh, but there's a website where it'll it'll show you your local rebates as well but you know you're talking about $35 difference in price go ahead and get the bigger fan just to move the hot air out and you can use this with ridge vents I talk about that on our podcast link uh, so just go to our show and tell the top right up here and click on podcast and I talk about some other issues relating to solar attic fans as well the Remington solar attic fans but anyway you've got a great product if you go with Remington solar brushless DC motors will last forever so I really think you'll be pleased with it and remember the limited lifetime warranty if you have any parts issues or problems just give us a call and we'll FedEx you out a new part